Okay, the quicker we get started, the quicker we can go home. It got quiet all of a sudden, didn't it? Okay. We have one item on the agenda. It's Senate Bill 233. We have a rule substitute, and the Speaker Pro Tem will present. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I have a rules, chair, uh, rules substitute that makes two changes. One change is on line, let's see, let me see, it's LC. LC 491458S. Yes, sir. One uh, change is on line 290, a nationally norm reference test approved by the commission or a statewide assessment administered, uh, will be administered to all students that, um, take uh, the promised scholarship. The other change uh, simply clarifies that uh, homeschool students, um, let's see here, let me find that section. It clarifies that um, if you do not take the, um, the voucher that, let me just get that page, which page, here it was. Um, Sorry, Mr. Chairman. This change is just made. <clears throat> Here we go. It's on line 347. The provisions of this chapter shall not apply or be construed to apply to any student in a home study program unless such student is a participating student. And those are the only two, two changes um, since the Education Committee passed the bill out. Okay, does anyone have a question for the sponsor? Okay, Mr. Park. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, so I know that the Georgia Association of Educators and PAGE, they were very concerned with the version of this bill that passed committee. Do any of the rule substitutes address those changes, uh, particularly uh, the one that the Georgia Association of Educators mentioned was that the bill would do nothing for students and families in rural Georgia uh, especially for those uh, within the poorest 25% of schools, as there are no private schools in those areas. Well, everyone is entitled to their um, opinion, and the Education Committee has done an outstanding job in the 20 years I've been on the committee supporting public schools, teachers, and, um, and public school students. This uh, piece of legislation per pertains to the few students in which another option might be best. Thank you. Ms. Higley. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. Madam Pro Tem, can you um, clarify for me uh, what is a participating student uh, in line 350? The, in, in 358 to 350, unless such student is a participating student as such term is defined, what, what, what is that exactly? You mean where, where does it define a participating student? Yeah, it says it's on line 42. It's a student uh, for whom such account has been established. That is a participating student. It's a student that um, takes a promised scholarship to use for home school, micro school, or for private school purposes. Thank you. Okay, I don't see any more questions. All right, the, the position we're in right now, we have Senate Bill 233, Rule Substitute, LC 491458S. So we're in the process of deciding where to carry this bill forward. Do I hear a move? move. Down a move and a second. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed like sign. Aye. Okay, all in favor raise your right hand. All opposed. Okay, motion carried. So um, we just passed Senate Bill 233, Rule Substitute LC 491458S. See y'all on the House floor. It'll be in the supplemental calendar.